welcome back to Let's Play The Legendary Starfy. Now, I've run into a few problems recording this bit already, but let's see what the, the best we can make out of it is. We're in Sogwood Forest now, but before we go to 4-1, we have some more of the Mo Show to watch. And I think if there is ever one of the Mo Shows that you have never seen before, it automatically goes to that one. So let's see what, uh, we have the Gelato Sisters! Ha ha! Well, one of them anyway. Yeah, that sounds a little funny and not quite what I was expecting out of them. Okay then. Hey there, Pipleon. With your warm hat. Ooh, snow cone. Oh. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll go with that. Popleon! Yeah, I guess that didn't make sense. Maybe they were going after Popleon and not the snacks? Okay, we're back to Starfy then, which means that's all for the Mo Show. So back to what we're supposed to be doing, heading to 4-1. Now the reason I was saying before that I was having a little bit of trouble recording this bit is because in this very area, the background, the, not necessarily the background, actually the fog graphic will glitch out on occasion. If that happened, ah, oh, crap, there it goes. So yeah, that glitch is out, now I get to do the whole world like this. Pity, because this is actually one of my favorite worlds. We have this little mushroom dude, though, that we have to take around everywhere. And I have to look and adjust my eyes to seeing it through the sparkle. This isn't what the game's supposed to actually look at, look like. It's an emulator issue. The whole area will look probably a lot more correct once I get the hang of. Oh, shoot. Once I get the hang of looking at things here. It's not supposed to look this way. That's the point I'm trying to make. If I could make any point to you, it's that the game is not supposed to look this way. In fact, it looks quite badly. What you saw at the very start is how it is supposed to look. Why it glitches out? Ow. You know what, if this just gets to be too absolutely horrible, I may just cut through all of this, because I have no idea where I'm going, what I'm doing, or even what is within the immediate vicinity of me. Oh, hey, a passage. See, it's hard to see, because it goes away once it get in, gets in this little cloud, but there's little puffs of cotton, it looks like, everywhere. And if you get them within this little m mushroom guy's radius, then he blows them away. Yeah. Are we almost done here? Please? Please? Oh, that's just weird. Now, the door is occasionally filled with that fluff stuff, too, so you ha absolutely have to take the mushroom with you to get there. And ha ha, I can see! Hey, Mo, what's up? Ooh, a trampoline. Wee! 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 These acorns, if you sit on them, sink into the water a little bit. And there are pearls! Now this leaf actually goes sideways when you stand on it. If you stand on it too long, it collapses and you fall. 
can also spin near these mushrooms and occasionally get pearls from them. No, I didn't make it. No! Oh, well, it'll be that way. Hey, Globerto. Hey, save point! Ah, oh, crap! It's another one of these. Um... I don't know what I'm doing or where... Oh, shoot. It fixed itself! Aha! It fixed itself! Kind of. Sort of. Maybe. I can play the game, though. It's going back and forth between fixing itself and not fixing itself. Let's go, mushroom dude. I can see now! Oh, crap! There it goes. No. And, and now it's back. It's... Aha! My technical difficulties are bad. Those mushroom guys are nasty little dudes. A door! A door! I'll maybe go in the door. I'll see what's up here first. Seeing as I have a temporary moment of being able to see. Okay, now I can't see. I do have pearls, though. Pearls are always nice. And thanks to the Mega Man respawning enemies, we have enemies right back over here that we killed mere moments ago. I never did like that about the Mega Man games. You kill an enemy and then scroll off screen about half an inch, and it is gone. It is back. And there to thwart you again. I apologize, everyone. There's not really anything I can do about how glitchy some of these areas look. If it gets to be that bad, I may just skip through it. Whee. I think I did get a chest in here, though, which means there is still... I know there's a secret exit in here. Where it is, I do not know. Hey, dudes. What's up, dude? We're at the tip-tops of the trees. That's the all-important thing you had to say? Okay, whatever. Wow, it's Monstar again! Oh crap, the scrolling level. And with Monstar we can breathe flame! The scrolling levels are, in this game are generally pretty slow. It's not a hard game by any regard. Some of the secrets requ require you paying some attention, though. And that's just what I like in games. I like being able to find things by exploring and taking my time. I've mentioned this before. I believe it was at the end of the Bunny Must Die Let's Play. But if anyone knows of any actual, um, Metroidvania-type games, Please inform me about them. I am more than happy to play them. However, I will caution you as to what is a Metroidvania. Mega Man is not a Metroidvania. Stop suggesting Mega Man games. I like games that are based on exploration. Games you can take... Oh, shoot. Games you can take your time and explore and find nifty little things. And this water here is downright poisonous. To be careful about it. Yep. Oh shoot! No, get out of the poison. Okay, now that I'm a, now that I am in a running state, I can make my jumps. And make my jumps again! And again! Oh, can I make it? Yes. You are mean, and I don't like you. I don't like you. But we're at the end. Well, that was only mildly glitchy. I did miss, I did miss the secret in that level, though. We are almost out of time, though, so I'm going to go back into that level and not only get the chest, but get the secret that I missed. Until next time, everyone. <laughs>